I was so excited uh, to talk about this today. It's the inspirational real life story about one woman's persistence. There's the word and drive. Nyad tells the story of long distance swimmer Diana Nyad, who decided uh, to swim from Cuba to Florida without a shark cage <laughs> at the age of 64. Look at this. I want to do it. Do what? Cuba to Florida. My swim. Huh? You're hilarious, sir. No, I'm not kidding, Bonnie. I'm going to do it. No, I mean, that's insane. You, you, you tried that when you were 28, and you did not make it when you're 28. You're 60. Yeah, I don't believe in imposed limitations. I don't believe in any limitations. And that's the reason to do it, not the other way around. I started with 20 minutes, then 20 more, just to see. And I am up to four and five hours in the pool. I don't understand. Are you having, like, a mental breakdown or something? My mind has never been clear. Yeah, don't, don't, don't put limits on Diana. That's a net binning. I'm gonna say a net freaking binning as Diana Nyad and Jodie Foster looking better than ever as her reluctant coach, Bonnie. It's available to stream right now on Netflix. I will cut to the chase. This is so good. I loved this. I sat down on Sunday. We got some takeout uh, in my soft pants, mm. and uh, <laughs> and we devoured Chinese food yeah. and this movie. It is. This sounds so cliched, but it does make you just want to go outside and run like Forrest Gump. It makes you want to. <laughs> it makes you just want to be active because here's the deal. She tried it. She tried it when she was 28, 29. She failed. She couldn't complete it. And then, what was it? For, you know, she went into, she worked for ABC's Wild World of Sports. And then, you know, she was inspired by her mother. And she, she was telling Oprah, uh, we were going to listen to a little bit of the interview in a minute, but she said it wasn't like a pounding dream for all those years, There's those intervening years. But it was like a little whisper telling her, finish that, finish that, do that thing. So she went out there with 40 people, 40, a team of 40. They, they had to like just drop pasta in her mouth because you know to do the record they couldn't touch her and they and and she tried five times one time she was removed from the water because she was attacked by box jellyfish oh. um, and they depict this in the movie the performances of this Annette Benning is so good friends so good she trained with Diana she trained with her and she will knock your socks off Jodie Foster is superb. This movie, I'm getting little chills because it's just so inspirational. And what it does is, and it's a theme on this show, and I say it almost to the point where it's comical because I say it so much. I love any woman and I love anybody that redefines an, uh, an age. And Diana and I had redefined what it means uh, to still have dreams at 60 and not let anybody tell you you can't do it. Uh, because she did it. She ends up doing it at 64 years old. That's amazing. 64 years old. It's amazing. Well, 10 years ago, Diana, as I mentioned, sat down with Oprah for her Super Soul Sunday and talked about the literal power of the human mind to get through something like that. Listen. The will is so undefinable and can push you so far beyond. You know, I've had sports scientists, the best of them, write me and say, this, I'm sorry to tell you, this is humanly impossible. And I write back and say to them, you have no idea then. You're just doing your little studies on what the heart can do and what the, what the lungs can do. I'm talking to you what the spirit can do, and that's not measurable. Well. Keep your... Diana's like, keep your psychology crap away from me. <laughs> I'm getting in the water and I'm gonna go. Can you imagine? No, I think when people, isn't it when they do like the triathlon, isn't the water portion usually the most difficult for people? Yes. Because it's it's scary. And then to do it for as long as she did, I, I can't even imagine, can't even imagine. No, she, she appeared, you know, there's a great scene where, I'm not giving anything away because hello, it's history and you can go watch her interview right after she did it. Um, there's a point where she, I, and this is where I cry, I, I did tear up. She can see Key West, or Bonnie can see Key West from the boat. And Diana starts to have a moment of like, she's just kind of wait, you know, she's waiting in, waiting in the water and she's struggling. And she thinks that Bonnie is gonna call it off again. 
and Bonnie ends up, and the, the captain is like, uh, we may have to call this. And Bonnie's like, no, there's the shore. Bonnie, oh, I'm getting, Bonnie jumps into the water like a best friend, because they're best friends, Bonnie and, and Diana, they're best friends. Bonnie gets into the water with her, gets into the ocean, and she goes, she's like, I need you, give me one stroke. Give me one powerful stroke. And Diana does it, and she goes, give me another powerful stroke. And she does it. She goes, come on, Diana. And she goes, Florida's that way. And she and Diana looks and she goes, is that the sun? And you know you laugh because mm -hmm. she's like, is that the sun? <laughs> and and Bonnie goes, no, that's Florida. Oh, man. And you oh. see the show. And, and I do. I, I, I was like, and, and I'm on my couch going, go, Diana. <laughs> go, Diana. It's so, so good. Get some Chinese food, get a pizza, <laughs> get some soft pants, and watch, watch <laughs> Nyad on Netflix. You won't be sorry. It's so good. There, those Annette and Jody better get nominated for mm. something. They're so good. We're going to take a break. We're trying really gross snacks when we come back. <laughs> back in a moment. <laughs>